In this video, we are going to show you how to transfer an aliquot of sterile nutrient broth from one tube to another using aseptic technique. For this method, you will need a P1000 pipette, which can be found at the end of the bench. You should set this to dispense 1000 microliters. You also need some sterile pipette tips. You can tell your tips have been sterilized as they will have some autoclave tape stuck on them. Do not use tips if they don't have autoclave tape on them. They might not be sterile and could end up contaminating your work with environmental organisms. Let's get working. Turn on your Bunsen to the blue flame and place a pipette tip on the end of your pipette. Then take the tube you want to remove liquid from and remove the lid using the little finger of your dominant hand. You can then pass the open end of the tube through the hottest part of the Bunsen flame to kill any lingering organisms. Take your pipette, put it into the tube and push down on the pipette plunger to the first stop. When the tip's in the liquid, slowly raise the plunger of your pipette to take up an aliquot of culture media. Flame your tube, put the lid back on and place it back in the rack. Next, take your empty sterile test tube, remove the lid using your little finger of your dominant hand, flame the neck and dispense the liquid into this tube. To do this, push down to the first stop on the plunger and then the second stop to remove any remaining liquid in the pipette tip. Flame the neck of the tube once more, place the lid back on and then place this into the rack. Eject the tip into the dispo jar using the eject button on the top of the pipette and then close the lid of your tip box before turning your flame back onto the yellow safety flame. Your tubes will then be incubated to allow any contaminating organisms to grow. Here we can see two example results. On the right, we've got a broth where aseptic technique has been successful, whereas on the left, an environmental contaminant has grown, causing the media to become cloudy.